one of the big user interface enhancements in Cubase 9 was the improved use of zones to see different parts of the program on a single screen. So whether you have a large HDTV as your display or a single laptop screen, this allows you to see more information on your main project window. Now the zones can be activated in the upper right hand corner here. So if I wanted to see my left zone, my lower edit zone, or my right zone, we could just simply turn those on there. To the right of that is a zone setup window where you could check what exact components you want to see, which zones are visible. Now there's some handy keyboard shortcuts for this that could really speed up your workflow. So on the Windows, it's going to be Alt Control plus the letter. On the Mac, it's going to be Command Option plus the letter. So if I want to see my inspector, which is on the left, we would hit Command Option or Alt Control L, and that hides or shows that zone. My right hand zone could be Alt Control or Command Option R. I have my edit zone, same keyboard modifiers, but with the E for edit and my transport can now be fixed at the bottom by alt control or command option T. So those keyboard modifiers with L, R, E, and T. You can hit the tab key to navigate between the different zones. And this is important and can be critical when you're doing stuff like zooming. So now my project, and we see the white outline here as it navigates, the project window has a white outline, and we can now just zoom in and zoom out using our G and H keys. But if I go one more zone to the mix console, I could zoom in the mix console or the editors independently. Each of these zones can have multiple tabs so that you could switch between different functions depending on the zone. And this is very helpful. So if I wanted to go to my edit zone, we can now hit alt control plus the left right arrows or command option plus the left right arrows to navigate between my different editor functions. So whether I want to see my mix console, whether I want to see my sample editor, my MIDI editor, and my MIDI editor we can see several different ways. So once I have my MIDI information up, I could choose to see it in a key editor, a drum editor, or even my score editor so that we can pick and choose which function will be seen. So hitting Alt Control or Command Option left or right, I could go to my sampler track as well as my chord pads or my mix console. Now my mix console, we could also activate where you could see our different linking functions and channel filter types at the top. And if I wanted to see my inserts or my sends, we could quickly have those visible as well. Now, some people coming from previous versions of Cubase want to see it as an independent floating window. So if I'm in my editor and I want to see this in a floating window, we could just kind of click on this little icon here with the arrow that points to the right, and that will take it to back to our previous paradigm in 8.5 and earlier where it's going to be a separate floating window. Or if I wanted to kick it back to the zone, we could kick on click on the little arrow here with the arrow pointing down to the left and it will just simply go back to have the different functionalities in our zone here. When I, we navigate to different zones, so if I'm in my right zone, I could see my media bay or my VST instrument rack here. When I go to my inspector zone, I could see not only my visibility settings, and this is just by hitting the alt control left right arrows. I can see the edit functions, or if I want to see the inspector, what's going to be on the main project window, or the inspector win within the editor for that particular part. We can just simply navigate between your different zones, or if you wanted to have different anchors for the right or left channels within the mix console. So you can navigate very quickly. Now, one of the paradigms that people really missed was when they double click on a part that they wanted it to go directly into a full window like the previous versions or when they hit the keyboard shortcut. So there's some preferences to be aware of. So if you go to the preferences and choose editors, you have two preferences which you should be cognizant of. 
So here you could actually say double click uh, opens into the lower zone or lo opens into an independent window. Or when we use a key command, th that will open into the lower zone or an editor. So if I have it set up like I do now, I want it to, so the key command will open it into a floating window and double clicking will open it in the editor. So let's take a look at that. So let's say if I just click here, I can see that in my editor, but if I wanted to select a different part and hit like command or control R, we could just take this directly into our score editor. And at that point, that is a floating window that we could, again, collapse back down into the zone. So once again, tab to navigate between the zones. And we could come here and hit the arrows to navigate directly between different aspects of each of the zones so that you could really improve and speed up your navigation process. So if you found this video helpful, please feel free to like the video and to subscribe to the YouTube channel.